We are determined to lead by example wherever we can in efforts to tackle global challenges. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, there are ongoing significant regional initiatives in this regard. For example, the region has articulated its first Caribbean Community Environment and Natural Resources Policy Framework. This is to be formally launched at the fourth International SIDS Conference scheduled for 27 to the 30th of May, 2024 in Antigua and Barbuda. This policy framework, which has been approved by the Environment Ministers, is designed to serve as the umbrella policy for the sustainable management and use of the community's environmental and natural resources. The framework acknowledges the vital role that land, air, water, and oceans play in sustaining the economic, social, and environmental development of the community. The framework also provides the basis on which a Caribbean community biodiversity strategy aligned to the Kunmin Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework is being finalized for ministerial approval. The strategy will guide our member states and development partners towards harmonized action for the management, conservation, and fair and sustainable use of the region's biodiversity resources. Secondly, the region has been implementing Vision 25 by 2025, our comprehensive strategy to reduce the near US 6 billion food import bill in CARICOM as we focus on building food and nutrition security. The region is taking action to strengthen food production, improve interregional trade, and create wealth and economic opportunity within the agricultural sector of every CARICOM member state. Biodiversity is critically integrated into food security through agricultural production, mitigating the negative effects of pollution, increasing crop production, and supporting nutrient cycling. Thirdly, CARICOM has played a very constructive role in the successful completion of the negotiation of the new High Seas Treaty on Biodiversity Beyond a National Jurisdiction, the BBNJ. The CARICOM grouping negotiated in bloc and led in the negotiations on marine genetic resources and cross-cutting issues. We continue to coordinate as a region as we move to expand signature ratification and implementation of the treaty. As we do so, we applaud the government of Belize, which became the first CARICOM country to ratify the BBNG agreement, setting the pace for wider Caribbean engagement. 